Um, my name is Ramon Foster. I go to school with Elena. I'm in her class. I'm an artist myself, and uh, I make music. And when I look at the finished product, I notice there are a lot of flaws. Now, this is a question for both of you. Who do you think will notice, if there are any, most of the flaws? Maybe the most is me, because I always look back and I'm like, I could have went deeper with that concept, or I could have had this person to say this. I do. I have thoughts sometimes like I could have went deeper. That's just the the thoughts that I have with the flaws in it. Um, no, like what you think? Yeah, I, well, I think it's, that's a a great question, and I think um, I think the fact that when you finish uh, a a song uh, or music that you've made that you you tend to see the flaws in it just I think shows that you are an artist I think that um, that there's an old saying that uh, no work of art is ever finished only abandoned and I think that's pretty true so I think that Erlena and I will both go ah you know if we just and if we only and if I just had a little more time and why did I do that and I mean I think I think that's just how it is in, 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 in any art, in any, in any artistic endeavor. I mean, if you look at, for instance, George Lucas, who uh, you know, made Star Wars and the whole, the whole trilogy, that, that when they re-released, when he re-released Star Wars in the early 90s, or late 90s, I can't remember which, he, he redid it because it wasn't right. It wasn't perfect. He added you know, uh, digital spaceships and more such and such, but nobody ever asked for that. Nobody ever would say that was a flaw in the film. That film was nearly perfect, you know. But it's that it's that um, that sort of kernel of of, uh, of sand that you keep rubbing around that you know that creates creates the pearl. So I would say never be satisfied. Uh, Ross, I'd like to hear more about your involvement in Scenarios USA. You have a successful career uh, in Hollywood, and and uh, somebody reached out and said, "Would you get involved in this?" And you could, but but uh, why why would somebody take the time out of the kind of career that you have and lifestyle and so forth to spend time coming to Cleveland and 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 making a movie? Uh, and and what is your vision for what you want to help these young people achieve through this whole process? Uh, wow, uh, very generous question. I appreciate that. Um, uh, well, I guess you know, I, it's it's why anybody does anything, um, you know, you try uh, like this. You're trying to give back, and uh, you know, I can't teach somebody how to hit a fastball or, you know, um, long division. You know, I'm not gonna. Uh, you know, you kind of you kind of dance with who brung you, you know, you, you, you have a, a certain amount of su success so far and who knows how long that'll last, but I have, I have um, you know, a, a little bit of experience in this field and a little bit of success and, and um, you know, it's something I can do, it's something I, I know a little bit about. And so when the opportunity came to, to use, um, use, you know, my, my good fortune to help somebody, I mean, I think there's, I don't know, I don't know how you say no to that. Uh, really, um, so uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled to be in Cleveland. Uh, it's a really it's a beautiful city. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but you should check, <laughs> you should you should get out and get out and check it out. It's really lovely, um, and the people have been you know just fantastic. So um, yeah, that's why I'm here, and and uh, you know I hope that uh, I hope that uh, Erlena, um, if she doesn't decide to become an attorney. Um, Continue. Well, I hope she continues to write, regardless of what she decides to do, and uh, I hope this experience is uh, is for her is just um, uh, is inspiring uh, in whatever she decides to do next. And and uh, yeah, that's why I'm here. So thank you. I wanted to just say real quickly that uh, Peggy Zone Fisher opened this morning by talking about what a wonderful uh, and special moment was last night. For everyone. And I wanted to just kind of um, piggyback on that about what a wonderful moment this is for Cleveland and to have Kristen Joyner here who's one of the co-founders and co-directors of Scenarios, to have Brandon Spring, to have Olivia Jackson here to be able to honor their wonderful amazing works, for Erlena to start her works out, her remarks by honoring her colleagues, how generous that is. And there's a quote by Gloria Steinem that I like that goes like this our youth have been denied the opportunity 
and the knowledge that greatness looks like them. And to me, this is really what Scenarios is about, that this vehicle that is so wonderful and so creative has given such an opportunity for so many young people in Cleveland and all around the country to be able to add their voice and have their vision honored and recognized and shared. And it's just fabulous. And it has been such a gift to all of us and a gift to meet Brandon and a gift to meet Olivia and a gift to know Orlana and her family and to have everyone come to Cleveland. So on behalf of everyone, we just really want to say thank you to Scenarios. Our dog was stolen once, but that's a different story. This one works. We got it back. Today at the City Club, we've been listening to a special program featuring Hollywood director Ross and Thurber and Scenarios USA contest winner Erlena Kemp. Thank you, Ross and Erlena. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this program is now adjourned, but before I ring the gong, uh, I also want to have you just stay in your seats because there's going to be a special presentation that follows. So this program is now adjourned.